your room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Kitchen Art Cabinetry Showroom in Chester is your one-stop shop for designing and remodeling your home's kitchen and we are now offering an expanded selection of appliances. Come view all the exciting design possibilities displayed at our 5,000 square foot showroom located near ShopRite. See our selection of appliances, cabinets, countertops, flooring, hardware and more. Financing is available. Our experienced team will help bring your vision to life in our design center. Call Kitchen Art Cabinetry for a free estimate and consultation. Third down to give Montella cuts back up the middle and he's over a oh. thousand yards and he's off to the right. Third down to give Montella cuts back up the middle and he's over a oh. thousand yards and he's off to the races. Up in the air, blocked down. Don't be in wide open net. Too easy right there. Molly Chapman, she'll take off from the wing. That one's good. Webb trying to get the pin. Here we go. And it goes! Oh, it's it's that would win it for Warren Hill! Great senior night ceremony here at Lindby Valley High School. A 63 save performance by Casey Connor, the Crimson. And he break his record. Oh, 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 Kenzie oh, 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 Edwards oh, 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 wins it. Get to you last year, you get them at home. And we're all so pumped and happy to like... Head up the head tonight on more Sussex. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Hanover Park High School here in East Hanover, New Jersey. We have a pair of divisional foes set to clash for the first time here this season. We got the McQuanic Golden Panthers and the Hanover Park Hornets. Welcome inside the broadcast with everyone. Great to have you with us on this Friday night here in East Hanover. I'm Christian Copen alongside Jeremy Nielsen. And before we get into it, unfortunately, some of you all may know, our longtime play-by-play -play broadcaster, Brett Luther, died of cancer a few days ago. And this guy meant everything to what is now Garden State Sports. He fought a great fight, truly one of the best people in the industry and one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. And I know I would not be able to do this broadcast tonight without truly honoring the godfather of Garden State Sports. We love you, Brett. I know you're watching us from down here in heaven, and we are so incredibly grateful to have you in our lives. But, you know, as Brett would want it to be, he'd want to be broadcasting right here, right now, two divisional rivals going head-to-head, -head. and that's exactly what we're going to do, to honor Brett here tonight, go out here, and even if we could do it just a fraction of what he was able to do as a broadcaster, I call that a success. So, with that being said, here we go. You ready, Jeremy? Yeah. Here we go. These are Get two teams it. coming into this one pretty even right now. Paquanic at 4-3 and three, and Edward Park at 4-5. and five. With the start of the Golden Panthers, though, they got off two. They won the Blue and Gold Tournament convincingly, beating West Milford and Montville. And now they've won three in a row. So what can Paquanic do to keep their foot on the gas pedal in this one, Jeremy? Well, Christian, I think Bequanic is going to need to match the intensity that Hanover Park is going to come out with tonight. Hanover Park is going to be a motivated team, and the Panthers, they can't get complacent. And, you know, the sneaky thing about these guys is with a few bounces in the right direction, they could have been a 6-1 and one team, not a 4-3 and three team. Uh, their last losses before this winning streak that they kicked off, they lost by one point and five points respectively. Now you can look at that one of two different ways. You could say, oh well, I guess they're just not finishing in close games or they're just not lucky. But I think just the main takeaway is they'll need to pay extra attention to detail if things get close down the stretch. And taking a look at Hanover Park, they swept their way through the KSA tournament down in Orlando, Florida, beating teams in Florida and Ohio. But coming back up to Jersey, they lost to a tough Morris Catholic team ranked number 19 in the state. Like, they're completely unstoppable. So game number two of the new year, how can they get back on track? 
Yeah, Morris Catholic's a wagon, and Hanover Park found that out the hard way. They were outmatched in that tilt. But hey, that's going to happen against the 19th ranked school in the state. Uh, the important thing is just to turn the page, refocus, and they've got a lot of seniors who are well equipped to do that. Uh, and they definitely need to focus particularly on the defensive side of the ball. Um, I really like the way they played against Mountain Lakes in that respect. They were cutting off the driving lanes, they were contesting shots, forcing turnovers, and they have a ton of guys that are going to be motivated to play that defensive style, and that is what they're going to be highlighting, I think, in the huddle right here as both teams get set for tip-off. Absolutely, Jeremy. With that being said, we'd like to take a, uh, a moment to spotlight the sponsors that make these broadcasts possible here on Garden State Sports. Starting off with Stefan Orthodontics. Stefan Orthodontics will take the smile all the way home to the end zone, or in this case, the basket, because we're in basketball. Our expert team creates uh, winning smiles for patients of all ages in Florham Park using a variety of affordable, effective, and advanced treatment options. Our orthodontic care can strengthen your teeth, align your bite, improve oral health, and give you the confidence you need to reach your goals. Visit ZephmanOrtho.com to schedule your complimentary consultation with Dr. Zephman today. And we'd also like to mention the sponsors of Paul Miller Auto Group. Lincoln Tech, Online Computers, and Smythe Volvo. And our game time temperature tonight brought to you by ICS, keeping you cool when it's warm and hot when it's cold. Go to ics.hvac.com for all of your comfort needs. 31 degrees here tonight in East Hanover, New Jersey. It's been cold all day, although incredibly warm in here. I think it's at least 70 degrees in here right yeah. now in this gym. And... We're set for a good one here tonight. And take a look at some players to watch in this one. For McQuanick, we want to take a look at Carson Coluco. And man, has this kid been dominant this season. 40-point performance against Montville earlier in the season. He's dropped 42 against Parsippany Hills, that being his career high. Could we see another performance like that here tonight? Yeah, I think it's very possible. They're, he's going to be very, he's going to be fed early and often uh, for by McQuanick. And I think, uh, you know, if Hanover Park, they're trying to focus their defensive effort they're going to need to take special care not to, you know, folk on, on defending Kaluko. They can't go into, like, foul trouble with him because last game against Whippany Park, he wound up sinking 13 foul shots at the line, and they won, they won that game by 12. So the solution for, Kalu for Kaluko defensively is not to foul him. And take a look at our Hanover, play, Hanover Park player to watch, Johnny Karpinski. Seemingly could not miss from three-pointer when we were watching him at Hanover Park the last time we were here. So what can we expect from him this time around? Yeah, I think Karpinski is kind of the metronome of this group. He's the leading scorer. He's always going to put forth maybe a double-digit point effort. He'll grab some rebounds. He'll facilitate. He, he assists players. He's always looking to help out and share the ball. Um, and he's been in the lineup every game since his sophomore year began, so he's a really dependable pre uh, presence for them. Again, that metronome just kind of ticking steady. He'll be the, the even-keeled leader of this Hanover Park team as they try to notch an important win. And now we take the floor to our PA announcer. who are announcing the starting lineups in the National Anthem coming up here on Garden State Sports. Johnny! 
All right, we're about to get set underway here in East Hanover, New Jersey, and this is going to be definitely an interesting game. Both teams looking for that illustrious division win number one on the season. 0-3 in the end, Jack, is the Hanover Park Hornets in the 0-2. The Pontiac Golden Panthers in the division as well, both playing the same division. Hanover Park coming in in fifth place at four and five so far this season. And as we said, he's, they swept their way through the KSA tournament down in Orlando, Florida. Really kind of setting the stage now to come back home. Unfortunately, took the loss last time out, but this is still a very good team as well. And then on the Pontiac side, able to win the last three in a row, including the tournament wins. So right now, two teams definitely coming in here evenly matched for sure. Karpinski will be taking the tip for Hanover Park, our open road Mazda of Morristown tip off. And first time car buyers listen up, open road Mazda of Morristown has your back. Discover affordable, dependable vehicles for less than 15,000 backed by our rock solid five day money back guarantee. Drive with confidence, drive with open road Mazda of Morristown. Click the link in the below for more details. Dylan Tomaskovic will take the tip for Paquanic. And off we go here in East Hanover. Aaron Santana catches the tip off and we're underway. Kaluka will take it up. The star of this Paquanic offense for sure, Tomaskovic. Back down low inside. Kick it back out to Santana. And back over to Castle. Castle looking around, trying to find help, finds Tomaskovic down low. And this is Santana. Kick it back out to Tomaskovic. Inside, nice pass to Castle. Looking around, Santana now for three. In and out. Rebound taken by Giordano. And he'll take things up to start the first offensive possession for the Hornets. And that's going to be a double dribble taken over now. Paquanic on this next possession. That opening defensive possession, though, for Highland Park, you saw the intensity right out of the gate. That's something that they're looking to build on. Jack Picardo, only a sophomore taking things up. He's had an incredible season in his varsity debut season. Santana. Kaluko, kick it back out. Picardo for three. Off the mark, rebound Karpinski. Jordano, back out to Alex Reyes, who has been very dominant and consistent force for this Hanover Park offense. Karpinski back to Reyes. Reyes will take his chance, in and out. Rebound to Moskovic. Kaluko takes it up. Kaluko now driving inside, kicking it back out for three. Castle, got it! First points for the Bequanic Golden Panthers is Donovan Castle. And give the assist to Kaluko. Jordano almost has it stripped. Garbinski picks it up, shoots off the mark. Kaluko with the rebound. Already in the middle of everything, you see his aggressiveness defensively. Nice pass down the court to Tomaskovic who knocks it through. Dylan Tomaskovic gets his first points of the day. He can clean the boards with anybody. Karpinski to Reyes. Orjaque, nice to see him back in the starting lineup after missing the game against Morris Catholic. Jordan over three, off the mark. Rebound last touched underneath by Hanover Park, so it'll be Paquanic ball going the other way. Yeah, Orjaque is a really important piece for this Hanover Park team, both on offense and on defense. You saw him helping out on those defensive possessions to start. A 5-0 run to start this game for the Golden Panthers. Tomaskovic inside. Nice pass to Kaluko who knocks it through. You can't leave him alone in the paint. And a 7-0 run to begin things for Paquanic. A great tone set. And a timeout taken by Todd Hartman. Hanover Park doesn't know what hit him so far. 7-0 lead for Paquanic Golden Panthers. We'll be right back here on Garden State Sports. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today. to kick things off here in East Hanover. Reyes. 
Alex and Anthony, two dominant driving forces of this Hanover Park offense. You'll see them early and often for sure. Right now, Hornets just kind of searching offensively. Karpinski to the corner for three. No good. Rebound Orchikwe underneath. Tries to kick it back out, but doesn't get it to go. Picardo now. Santana, open look for three. Got it! Aaron Santana banks down a three and a 10 0 start for Paquanic. Orchikwe driving now towards the lane, puts it up and puts it in. And Hanover Park gets it in by the senior star, Ordera Orchikwe. Good to finally break the ice. Now get back in defense, and guard well. Picardo kicks it back out to Castle, to Santana. For three, long three, off the mark. Rebound Anthony Reyes. Mid-ranger for Reyes, and that got tipped in the air. Trying to fight for the rebound underneath is Farrell, but it goes out of bounds. And Bequanik will take over on offense. Yeah, Tomaskovic just a little too big. He is a massive human being. You look at him on the floor right now, easily the tallest player on the floor. Coming in at a staggering six foot five as a junior, by the way. Farrell could not <laughs> move him. Picardo to Tomaskovic. Floater up for Kaluko and out of bounds. Last touch by Orjaque, and it's going to be Bequanik ball underneath the basket. This is an offense led by Kaluko, who has consistently been a dominant shooter. Like we said in the intro, 40 points against Mottville in the Blue and Gold Tournament. And he's been huge to this team's success, especially coming down the stretch, consistently averaging 26.5 points per game. And they will look to get him more open from the field because I think in his last game, he was getting smothered defensively. Of course, he took advantage of the contact to go to the line and take his shots there, but they definitely want him racking up points by the twos and threes, not just by the ones. Orchikwe subs out, subs out. Alex Reyes comes in in his place. Picardo driving now inside. Doesn't get a good look. Looking for help, and that's going to be a turnover. So Hanover looking for some sort of momentum shift. We'll take it up the other way with Jordano. Gives it to Reyes. Alex drives, kicks it back out to his brother, Anthony. We now will try to reset things from the top of the key. Karpinski. Now driving, looking for some help. Kick it out to Alex, who takes his chance for three and gets it. Alex Reyes hits the first three ball for Hanover Park tonight. It's a good shot. Paquanic defensively with their zone has been keeping Highland Park to the perimeter. And Picardo. that time they're finally able to take advantage. They have not really had the driving lanes to go for two. Underneath, and getting it to go. Kaluko again. Kaluko, he's different on the drive, man. You look at the build of this guy, maybe necessarily <laughs> not the tallest guy, but man, he can drive when he gets down in the paint. Karpinski, a long three off the mark. Kicks it back out, Santana with the rebound. Castle. Back to Picardo. Santana tries to pass it to Tomaskovic inside and couldn't get quite the good pass. End of a park back on offense. Just a misconnection there. We've got a few... Uh... Golden Panthers check into the game. John Fody comes in for Paquanic as Picardo subs out. And Nick Hull attack in as well. 12 to five start for the Paquanic Golden Panthers. 2.31 remaining here in this first quarter. Karpinski, Jordana, driving now. Back to Karpinski. Joel George now enters the game. Reyes, step back three. No good. Rebound battled for. George gets the rebound. Kicks it back to Reyes. Second chance. Gets it. Alex Reyes off to a fast start. Now back the other way is Paquanic. Reverse layup gets it to go. Luke wow. White is first points of the night. Tough finish from Luke White there. How do you do? Welcome to the game. Jordano, it's one on one with Kaluko. 23 on 23 from the top of the key. Jordano inside of Karpinski, kicks it back up to the corner for Orjaque for three. No good. 
Rebound tipped up, no good by Karpinski. Rebound Orjaquay underneath, another offensive rebound. Puts it up, off the mark. Still fighting for his Orjaquay and out of bounds. And now, inevitably, the Quantic ball. That's about as good of a possession you can ask for without coming away with any points there. The Hornets are playing motivated, spirited basketball right now. Somehow finds White, almost gets stripped by George. Takes it back up to Moskovic inside. Driving now in the paint, George. Goes down, Reyes gets the rebound. Tried to draw the charge there. Reyes, back to George. Open look for three. No good. Rebound, Kaluko. 19-18 game, 4.54 remaining in the second quarter. Kaluko to Tomaskovic. These two have been dominant offense, and so is Luke White, who puts it down. A big man who can pass the ball inside like that, such a weapon. Tomaskovic, he's becoming the man to watch right now. Giordano for three. Doesn't get it to bounce in, rebound Luke White. Jack Picardo back into the game now, takes it up. Luke White now driving inside, nice layup, gets it to go. Back to back possessions with points for Luke White. Giordano. Looking around, finds Reyes. Reyes, nice move inside, mid-range jumper. Got it! Wow. He's hot right now, and he continues to sink them down, Alex Reyes. And he's been the man who's brought the energy that really this entire Hornets team is fed off of. Kaluko for three. He hits it! Carson Kaluko hits his first three of the night. He's got nine points so far. Giordano taking it back up. He's been the main guy taking it up for the Hornets here tonight. Karpinski now driving inside. Looking for help, finds Orchaquay. Giordano back up for three. Off the mark. Rebound battled for, but off the fingertips of Kaluko. And it's gonna retain Hanover Park possession. Kaluko arguing otherwise, but it looked like from our vantage point, it did go off his hands. It did look like it to me, but we don't have, you know, 4K cameras <laughs> real in deep to and a instant replay review system and all that. So he'll just have to tell it to the sky a little bit. Alex Reyes out of the game now. George George. Alex checks out for his brother Anthony. Karpinski one on one. Trying to drive on Santana and he gets picked off by Kaluka once again. Driving the other way. Mid-ranger, got it. The 100th steal of Carson Kaluko's career. Banks in for points. And a timeout taken by Hanover Park. Wow. We've gotten off to a fast start here in the second corner. Pequonic holds a 27-21 lead. We'll be right back here on Garden State Sports. Keep going. Reyes takes it up, 13-12 remaining here in the second quarter. Reyes, back to Karpinski, driving now. It's Karpinski inside, and gets it deflected by Tomaskovic. He gets the rebound, but Kwame takes it the other way. And the Panthers have some of that swag back defensively. They're starting to re readjust. Santana swing pass to the outside. Picardo drives, gets fouled, and one. Excellent drive by Picardo, knocks it down, and he'll take a one from the line. And that's the varsity baseball standout, Jack Picardo. We love our multi-sport athletes on Garden State Sports. Picardo is a fantastic baseball player, and he can hoop too. I mean, he is off to a precocious start as a sophomore here in his second sport. 
37 points on the team as a sophomore, really leading things. He's one of the youngest guys on this group of varsity players. He hits, this, he hits the shot. Ricardo's got three. Karpinski inside. Ballot for it underneath and stolen by Santana. Ricardo taking it back up. A 30 to 21 lead for the Golden Panthers. Kaluko for three. Got it! Carson Kaluko again. What a smooth stroke from three. It's just absolutely a. He's just, he's a different player. He's already got 14 midway through the second quarter. Orchard Quay, underneath the baseline, drives. And the ball goes out of bounds, but it'll be head of a park ball. Yeah, earlier in this corner, quarter, it was the Hornets really bringing the intensity defensively. And now you're seeing Paquanic with the energy. And they're once again taking away those driving lanes, taking away the inside, forcing these Hanover Park players to the outside where they need to take tougher shots and they're not going home. Farrell inside now, nice layup goes, doesn't go. Rebound underneath, fast break now for the Golden Panthers. Tomaskovic, mid-range shot. Doesn't get to go, rebound Karpinski. Just under the two minute mark here in the second quarter. Back out to Rocco Salvatore, checks into the game. Orjaquay now driving inside and puts it in. That's a nice layup. Ordero Orchaque knocks it through. His fourth point of the night. Picardo inside, tries to give it off to Tomaskovic, but gets fouled before doing so. I think I saw a kickball motion there from the ref. So a 10 point lead for Paquanic trying to add on here in the late minutes of the second quarter. And Farrell knocks it away immediately on the nice. inbound pass. Timed it perfectly on the tallest player on the court by far. Make your pass. We'll try again. Gets it away, Karpinski picks it off. Other way he goes and puts it in. Now Bacuanic back the other way. Santana kicks it back out to Picardo. He gives it to Santana who tries it for three. Just a little bit short rebound Orchard Quay. Ordera gets denied by Kaluko. Nicely done to time the jump and knock it out of bounds. Yeah, this game is picking up the speed on both ends. We're seeing more fast breaks, more transition, urgency. Especially from Highland Park, they know that they can't let things get too settled here. And I think it's been, it's been a battle for the Hornets to find the same energy that they were having when Alex Reyes was in the game. With a minute left, do you, do you sub, sub him in here? Anthony Reyes from the top. Driving inside, Anthony, nice move, gets it to go. Anthony's first points of the night. Picardo now. Demoscovic sets the screen, goes the other way. Picardo doesn't get it to go and out of bounds. It's going to be Hanover Park ball going the other way as Picardo took a nasty fall there and kind of grabbing at his wrist. Yeah. He looks like he'll be all right. Kaluko with an excellent effort crashing the boards there, but it did go off him last. Important. Oh, Reyes wasn't ready for that pass, but gets it across the back. Crisis averted. <laughs> Indeed, crisis averted. 45 seconds remaining. You got time. 33-27 lead for Paquanic. But when they've slowed it down, it's worked in the Panthers' favor. Karpinski. Again, trying to slow things down. This defense is sticking to him. Karpinski driving inside now, kicks it back out. Checking into the game now, Thomas Tatita. There's Faccia for three, a long one off the mark. Rebound underneath by Farrell, nice move. Kicks it back out to Tatita, who gets fouled and won! Tough second ever by Thomas Tatita. He'll go to the line to shoot one. Good stick to itiveness from Hanover Park on this possession. They weren't, they were a little slow developing, but kept moving the ball around, protected it, and that was a tough finish. Rewarded with the in and out. Rebound White with the basket, but couldn't complete. 10 seconds the left. He's gonna pick things up now. Picardo, seven seconds remaining. 
Picardo looking around. Two seconds remain. One, he's got to put it up. Gets blocked by Farrell. And that will do it for the half. An exciting, fast-paced transition basketball game. If you like high-scoring games, tune in for our second half. A 33-29 lead for the Bequanic Golden Panthers as we enter our halftime proceedings. Enjoy. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Kitchen Art Cabinetry Showroom in Chester is your one-stop shop for designing and remodeling your home's kitchen. And we are now offering an expanded selection of appliances. Come view all the exciting design possibilities displayed at our 5,000 square foot showroom located near ShopRite. See our selection of appliances, cabinets, countertops, flooring, hardware and more. Financing is available. Our experienced team will help bring your vision to life in our design center. Call Kitchen Art Cabinetry for a free estimate and consultation. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? 
That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Hi, I'm Dan from George A. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. At Pasquarella Brothers, we love creating great food for our customers. Everything is made daily using real fresh ingredients, and you can taste the difference. We specialize in creating gluten-free options for our customers, all prepared in a separate area so there's no cross-contamination. We also pride ourselves on providing unparalleled catering for events big and small. We love what we do. Stop into Pasquarella Brothers, you'll taste the difference. Welcome back everyone here on Garden State Sports. 33-29, uh, to 29, Paquanic lead as we apologize for the technical difficulties that happened during the first and second quarter. But the second half is the only thing that really matters, right Jeremy? Right, exactly. <laughs> and it's a close one, so. The biggest things you'll uh, see after the first half is Carson Coluco, he has 14 points, the team leader for Paquanic on their end. And it's been an Alex Reyes show so far for Hanover Park on their end. A very close game, 23, or rather 29-33 in favor of the Pequonic Golden Panthers. Hanover Park will get the ball to start here in the third quarter. Alex Reyes is on the bench to start the half once again, as he has been. He's been coming off the bench as kind of the sixth man, but if Hanover Park gets lost in the mire a little bit, he'll come out early. Jordano inside, driving, puts it up, off the mark. Rebound battle for Carlaimed by Castle. Jack Picardo, he had a nice first half. He'll take it up. Give it to Moskovic. Back to Castle to Santana for three. Got it! Aaron Santana, his second three, he's got six. Karbinski. Pass inside to Farrell. Look around. Give it back to Anthony. Orchukwe for three. Long one gets it! And I just had a sense from looking at the shot that that one was going to go in. Great form, good poise, just confident shot from Orchikwe, who's an important player for Hanover Park down the stretch in the second half. Kaluko almost lost to Anilov for a second. Double teamed underneath. Floats it up for Tomaskovic, who puts it in. 
Right guy to look for underneath, Dylan Tomaskovic. It's a cheat code, man. You can just top, toss it up there, and he'll come down with it. Karpinski. Driving now, kicking it back out to Anthony. Mid-range jumper. Off the mark. Rebound claimed by Tomaskovic. Down low, kicking back out to Picardo, and now Jacoluco taking it up. Back to Coluco inside, mid-rager, off the mark. Rebound battled for, claimed by Anthony Reyes. Good effort by Orchiquay on the rebound there. Kick it back out to Giordano for three. He's got an open look, off the mark. Farrell underneath, offensive rebound, no good. Rebound claimed by Coluco. And the threes have not been falling for the Hornets tonight. Something that they really specialize in and have done a good job over the past couple of games at sinking some of those threes. Yeah. Not falling so far here to start the second half. Santana, off the mark. Rebound, Karpinski. Orchikwe, open for three, off the mark. Rebound, Kaluko takes it back up. Battle for it, and Kaluko reclaims it, tipped. Castle's got it, puts it in. <laughs> Just make it up as you go along, Kaluko. He can do no <laughs> wrong. I mean, he lost that ball. He could have had it taken away, but it just rolled along for him, and he found his man. A point lead for the Panthers. Karpinski to Orjikwe. Underneath, now driving, nice move. Doesn't get to fall. He gets fouled. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. That was a pretty late whistle, and some of the Pequonic faithful not very happy about it. No, they're outnumbered, though. Ojekwe, very good from the line, especially in his career. 32 of 35 from the line, a 91% career free throw percentage. 80% so far on the season. Jinx the it. first. <laughs> Man, every time. Every right. time you mention yeah. something like that, it comes back to haunt you. Especially if they have a 90% <laughs> free throw shoot of percentage course. or above. Because why wouldn't it? And now I just feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> but Farrell rebound rejected by Castle. Jordano now. If you take three, you're fine with missing both free throws, right? Reyes, driving now underneath, floats it up, and gets it to fall. That works too. Anthony Reyes makes it a little bit closer, six point game. Santana, dangerous pass down low to Coluco, who's gonna drive the baseline, put it up, off the mark. Tipped in the air by Castle, and Reyes will get the rebound. Two on two, Reyes underneath. Karpinski gets the rebound. And now we'll try to reset things from the corner. Take it back out to Jordana from the top. Back to Karpinski, to Reyes down low. Who's gonna drive inside? Puts it up, but gets blocked, and to Moskovic gets fouled. Michael Farrell doesn't like the call, but nonetheless, it's a foul on him. And you were seeing, the process-wise, there's a lot to like from what the Hornets did there. They were getting out in transition. They didn't get a shot up, though, and once it started to slow down, you know, Tomaskovic was able to kind of entrench himself right in front of the basket, and he just made it all stop. So a six point for lead Park. for Paquanic. 419 remaining here in this third quarter. Ricardo takes it up, kicks it out to White, puts it up and gets tipped. And a nice job by Handel Park on defense. Now going back the other way, Giordano, kicking back out to Orchiquay. And gets fouled. No, or travel, trouble. rather. For a second, I thought it was a foul because Tomaska landed on it, but right. nonetheless, Richard Quay travels. We've not had a lot of turnovers in this game. And I remember, I think, the first possession that Hanover Park had in the game, they turned it over, and I think that might be their first one since. In comes Hanover Park's leading scorer tonight, Alex Reyes. Richard Quay checks out. I would have loved to have both of them out there if I'm Hanover Park. Ricardo stumbling his way up to midcourt. So Tomaskovic. Look at that defense. Back and down Farrell, and Tomaskovic doesn't get it to go. Reed gets his own rebound, though, hits the floor hard, and travels. Oof. And that's not good as Tomaskovic clutching at his right ankle. Hope he's all right. He's indispensable for this Buquanic team. That's the one thing you worry about with some of the basketball injuries that you see. And we'll take a quick time out here on Garden State Sports. 40 to 34 lead for Pequonic.
far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry, the team at Better With Physical Therapies one-on-one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can get better with Better With Physical Therapy located in the Madison YMCA. Request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com. For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, (laughs) those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. Tomaskovic walks off the court under his own power. That's definitely going to see the 6'5 junior has been a mainstay here on this varsity team. 69 points on the year, and he's been a rebound and block machine. Leads this team in rebounds and blocks as he'll go over towards the locker room. Jordano takes it up. Reyes inside of Karpinski. Takes it back out. Karpinski now drives. Kicks it back out to Anthony. He gives it to Jordano. Driving now inside, Jordano. High off the glass, no good. Rebound Santana underneath. And these are big minutes right here for Luke White. Nice pass to Kaluko underneath, gets fouled. Oh my goodness! Did that really just happen? <laughs> High off the glass, Kaluko knocks it through. And he'll go to the line to shoot one. He's a phenom, all right. But I do want to, for a brief moment, spotlight Luke White because he is, I believe, their block leader on the year, and he had the rejection that led to that transition opportunity. And he knocks down the next. And White will need to step up in Tomaskovic's absence for Paquanik. Karpinski, trying to make a move, gets it to Reyes. Kicks it out for three. Off the mark, rebound Karpinski underneath. Offensive rebound, out driving inside. Kicks it back out, Giordano. Got it. No. No shot is waved as. Going the other way. Going the other way, unfortunately, as Farrell gets called for the foul. Tough break, because that was a great look from Reyes. Yeah. And once- 2.55 remaining, a 43-34 lead for the Hornet, or for the Paquanic, rather. Picardo to Kaluko. Looking around for some help, Kaluko underneath. Around four guys trying to get a pass off. He does. We get back out to Santana. He loves his looks from three. Off the mark. Rebound Karpinski. Good box out. Down the field to Reyes, and Anthony doesn't get to go. Alex, though, the other brother knocks it through. Nothing like support from your bro on the rebound, right? 100%. Kaluko now. Triple team now, really utilizing that double team. Not worry about whether he was fouled or not, and just get the basket. He has been a lightning rod of activity. And I just wonder why he hasn't been in the game more, because he has been such a star tonight, and I hope that we'll see more of him as this game gets closer and closer to its conclusion. Late here in the third, heading towards a pretty excited fourth quarter if the first three quarters are to be believed. So 13 points for Alex Reyes leads the team for Hanover Park, and I mean, this is a guy that's been on the varsity team for the past four seasons now, has really got his varsity experience, and 25 points last year against Par Hills is his career high. He's already halfway there, and Look, heading into the fourth quarter, he's going to be the guy you want to turn to. I won't put it past him for sure. He's been there. He's been the guy who is not only he has he gotten looks for himself, but he's just turned up the tempo, and that has been the disruptor for Paquanic's defense. Of course, uh, I think Paquanic's defense is mostly held up, but in, in spurts it is shown to be vulnerable when, when Hanover Park turns up the pace, and Reyes has been the main factor in doing that. He's been some sort of electric kind of player for this team. So Aquanic will take the inbound pass from their own baseline. 
Get out to White. Ricardo, Reyes pressing. Drives all the way towards the basket, kicks it out to the corner to Donnelly. Back out for three. Off the mark. Rebound battle for, corralled by Anthony. Couldn't look up to find Giordano down the court. Passes to his bro, Reyes. Karpinski for three. No good. Rebound battled for underneath. Eventually corralled by Cole Attack. Good effort from Cole Attack. I've seen him, I've noticed him here these last couple of minutes. He's gotten a few shots off, hasn't hit him, but still playing with passion. And he's going to now sub out for Braden Van Lenten, but... Goldzak is a guy him. that's played really well. I guess Montville in the Blue Gold Tournament especially, that's when things really started to pick up for a guy like Cole Attack. And you can see his play showcasing here tonight. Picardo. Looking for help, finds White. Back to Coluco. Looking around, Coluco, step back three. No good. Rebound Reyes. Kicks it back up to Karpinski, just a little bit too far. Tries to save it, somehow does. Reyes oh. gets it. Pump fakes for three. Got it! Wow. Oh my goodness! What a sequence. Alex Reyes knocks it down. And now Pukwonik just got to regroup, brush it off. There's a foul on Anthony Reyes. Nobody in the building happy with that. So Anthony Reyes gets fouled. It is a two-point game now, 40 seconds remaining here in this third quarter. Man, this has been exciting so far. Donnelly with the inbound. It's two zeros on each other. Karpinski slips, Kuluk over three, got it! What a find by Donnelly. He had almost negative space along the line there. And I am running out of space on my score sheet for Coluco stats. <laughs> a five point game in favor of Pequonic. And whenever the Hornets have punched, the Panthers have had the answer. Slowing it down here now though, our Hanover. 10 seconds left in here in this third quarter. Giordano to Reyes for three. He's been on fire! Alex Reyes again. Another three. And look at this. The Quantix lead is only two. 46, 44. We'll be right back for the start of the fourth quarter here on Morris Sussex, or Garden State Sports. Of State Farm and Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at aaronmizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. superior in almost every aspect. We've worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Back here on Garden State Sports, a 46-44 lead for Pequonic. But boy, has Alex Reyes caught fire all of a sudden. Karpinski drives. Looking around, back to Giordano from the top. Giordano looks, drives, inside. No good, rebound by Farrell off the fingertips. Reyes now has it. Take it back to Karpinski for three. Got it! Hornets take the lead! We talked about Karpinski at the open. He's the metronome for this team. He shows up when they need a bucket, and they have the lead now. One point game. Fodi inside, rejected by Farrell. Tipped up in the air. Kuluko's got it. Somehow finds help underneath. And the pass a little bit too far from White. And out of bounds. Wow, that's unfortunate because Coluco put in a superhuman effort to save that possession. And if that pass was just a little bit more accurate, it could have set up for another highlight reel. We've had a couple <laughs> of really great plays already in this game. 
We're, we're getting greedy, we want a little more. Absolutely. Jordano. Back to Karpinski, drives now. Fadeaway jumper, got it! The Hornets are sticking down. And that's five straight points for Karpinski. Back-to-back -back possessions. Santana, back to Castle. He gives it back to Picardo underneath. Looking around now, trying to get some help double teamed underneath. And a timeout now taken by Pequanek. Yeah, they need to regroup. The Hornets have really stung them, no pun intended, <laughs> coming out of this break into the fourth pun. corner. On, the pun. Okay, I'll intend the pun. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, the energy shift in this building, they're feeding off the home fans too, for sure. We had some defense chance finally pick up for probably the first time in this game. And yeah, you don't want to miss this last chapter. Karpinski is starting to come alive. He's had a, he had a quiet first three quarters, but now he's making shots and that makes the Hornets so dangerous. Yeah, like you said, got off to that slow start, but now starting to creep back when the time matters most. Yeah, and the defense has been frustrating the usually confident Blue Panther, Golden Panthers. The Hanover I, Park student section has come alive here in East Hanover. Yeah, where have they been? We've been alive the whole time. <laughs> That's all right. They're on their feet now. 6.49 remaining here in this fourth quarter. Ricardo takes it up. Ricardo, back to Santana. To Kaluko. Looking around, driving. Gets blocked by Karpinski. Kaluko gets it back though. Off the mark. Offensive rebound once again underneath. Kaluko gets it. <laughs> what a finish. Deny me once, deny me twice. You ain't gonna get me three times. Reyes, Anthony, got it! That's the speed that they've got to play at to crack this defense. And I will say, Tomaskovic is on the bench, so he may be an option late in this game. Kaluko swings back out to Picardo. Driving inside, underneath. White puts it up and puts it in. White says, who needs Tomaskovic? I can <laughs> handle this. Good finish. Jordano. Back to Reyes. And the Reyes bros are on the court. Good things happen. And we've seen that so far tonight. Kind of the culture of anything I can do, I can do better. He thought about it. Alex, long three off the mark. A little ambitious there. Karpinski hits it back out. Giordano has it. Driving inside. Floater. No good. Rebound underneath. And he gets fouled. That's Donovan Castle. The defensive intensity, particularly on the boards for the Hornets in the second half, has been night and day with their effort in the first. I mean, they are giving heck to Bequanic down there. They are making them pay for ever trying to make any of those short, or even really just try to haul in a defensive rebound and start back up the other way, as we saw here. Excellent defense that time by Michael Giordano. I'll stay with Bequanic though, it looks like. Just the aggressiveness though to go all the way down the court and knock it out of bounds. Yeah, they're feeling it now. Kaluko. Back to Picardo. Knocked away by Reyes for a second, but corrals it. Kaluko looking around. Gives it back. Underneath. Fouled. Donovan Castle. He'll go to the line to shoot two. And the way they're guarding Kaluko too, has been much improved from the first. Kaluko is really, uh, uh, not that he hasn't gotten it going, he's still gotten his shots, but he's really had to, you know, reach into his bag to make something happen. He made that, that nice pass over to Castle to get him to the line, but I think if Paquanic is gonna come back and win this game, Kaluko has to be in the center of it all and he has to be making shots. Castle knocks down the first. Farrell checks out, and the big man, Joel George, checks in. George is his team's leading rebounder so far this season with 56. 
could come in key, especially down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. And still no Tomaskovic. He's got ice on his leg right now, so. Off the mark. Rebound underneath. A one-point game. Giordano swings it out. Karpinski. No good. Rebound Kaluko lost it for a second. Very gathered by White. White again. Looking around. Finds Picardo. Short. Rebound Alex Reyes. Long pass down the court to George and it gets deflected <laughs> out of bounds. Hello, Luke White with the hops. Disrupting that transition opportunity and, and Paquanic's aware. They're aware that the Hornets are pushing and they're getting buckets that way, so good job getting back and making it difficult for them. Whoa. Hit the basket. That one definitely hit the basket on the inbound pass. Took about seven deflections, and it goes out of bounds. So Paquanic, or rather Hanover Park, maintains possession. Long pass, almost goes back court and does. Reyes collects it. Jordano drives underneath, looking for some help to Karpinski, to Reyes for three. Got it! Oh, he's sensational, isn't he? Oh, it just doesn't stop for Alex Reyes. And he's been in the whole fourth quarter, as I thought they might have him, because the, the energy level is just different when he's on the court. Kaluko, taken away by George. There goes Anthony. Gets it. And that was just a little too easy for Paquanic defensively. They needed to get back. They needed to guard a little bit heavier. Fast break and transition points. Fouled underneath by Reyes has given this team, Hanover Park, a six-point lead with 3.51 remaining. Yeah, Paquanic's really struggling to match that effort. And I, I, we said at the top, Hanover Park's going to be a really motivated team coming off that tough loss to Morris Catholic. And they've had that chip on their shoulder. And Paquanic was able to ride their high-level scoring and their rebounding from Tomaskovic early on in this game. But now that Tomaskovic is out, they're not able to set up that defense, that wall in front of the basket. Hornets are getting their looks, and they're not missing out on their chances. Timeout taken by Paquanic. We'll take a timeout here on Garden State Sports. A 57-51 lead. You'll not want to miss this ending. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Back here on Garden State Sports, a 57-51 lead for the Hanover Park Hornets. McQuanick with possession. 3.51 left here in this fourth quarter. Okay, out to Santana. Back to White. To Kaluko. Looking for a look. He gets it and swishes it. And he wanted a foul there. I didn't see it, but he's just so good, he's going to have to just force his will at this point. They're not getting the wide open looks. He's getting contested every time, but he's still got the talent. It's a three point game now. Karpinski. To Reyes. Reyes wanted to step back three. What Look can how you hot say? he's been. Why, I mean, why not? Yeah. George. Underneath, towards the basket. Off the mark. Rebound, Kuluko. And a pivotal offensive possession coming up here for McQuanic. Kaluko drives inside, trying to do it himself. Doesn't get it. Rebound by Karpinski. And Kaluko's definitely getting frustrated with the officials, but he can't let that get to him, not at this stage in the game when it's just one possession which could decide it. George inside, looking, driving, fouled. 
He'll go to the line to shoot two. And we haven't seen much of Joel George in this game, but he is a really important player for this Hornets team as well. You mentioned the rebound leader, and he does so much more for this team as you saw on Mount, when they played Mountain Lakes. This is the first. They just couldn't, he couldn't miss. A 100 point season last year for Joel George, and he's been a driving force of what makes this Hanover Park offense so scary. Been quite here tonight. Gets a second. Four point game in favor of the Hornets. Picardo to Santana. Driving now inside. Santana back to White. No good. Rebound Alex Reyes. Down the port pass to, to Karpinski and he knocks it through. Another spectacular feed by Alex Reyes. The touchdown pass. <laughs> and it's a six point lead. Minus the extra point. I'll give it to him. <laughs> Got football on me. Santana. Looking around, inside it. Back to Kaluko. Trying to create some separation with Karpinski. Yeah, he can't get corner. downhill right now. Double team now, back to Santana. Two minutes remaining. Back to Picardo. Driving now. Back out. Castle, pump fake, mid-range jumper. No good. Rebound Alex Reyes. A rebound machine here in this fourth quarter. Back to his brother Anthony. Once again. That long pass pushing the pace, but now they'll have to settle a little bit. Jordano. And gets it knocked away and fouled. Aaron Santana fouls Jordano with 136 here in this fourth quarter. Of course, I'll defer to the, the officials in pretty much all cases. That did look like a pretty clean play to me, but they saw differently. But Quantic hasn't gotten the benefit of many calls tonight, and they're sort of running out of time here a little bit, 136. Anthony gets the backcourt pass, and gets fouled by Picardo. Is this an opportune time where we'll see the fouls come into effect, Jeremy? I think that's the last one before the Hornets go into the bonus. Looking around now, Anthony comes back out, gets the inbound pass. A six point game. Hanover Park, driving. George, inside, gets it. We have not heard much from Joel George tonight, but he's got three here in this fourth quarter. He's in the game late, that shows what his coach sees in him. Nice move, Kaluko, fouled! And Kaluko nailed that three. He wanted the foul on his last three as well. This time he got it. And they have just been all over him in this second half. But he's still so talented, he can still sink those shots. And once again, as we mentioned, a great free throw shooter as well. So Man, a chance a for foul. a four point play here, absolutely. And that three single handedly put Paquanic back in the game. Bounces around, no good. George with the rebound. Timeout, hit over Park. Wow. Yeah. Just, just wow. 62 to 57, the Hornets lead to Jeremy. Right now, Coach Hartman and Coach Hornetsky on the other side. What are they talking about in their respective huddles right now as we're gearing up for the last minute left in this fourth quarter? Yeah, I think for Hanover Park, I mean, they're at the phase of the game where they've got to start fouling and, and, and or, or rather the other way around, Paquanic's at the point where they need to start fouling and just, uh, you know, hold on and, and get their points on the other end. And for, for the Hornets, just get stops, stop Kaluko, right? He's the, he's the guy that can hurt you. We really haven't seen much offensively from other players on the Panthers. Uh, in this second half, it's really Kaluko who's been providing that surge. So at this point as well, the fouls can't really hurt you as much. So they're encouraged to play physical basketball towards the end here. Uh, and I guess just for the Hornets, don't turn the ball over. <laughs> That's a big key. We've been seeing a lot more double teams on right. Kaluko especially. As the second half started to progress, he slowed down a little bit. But I mean, slowing down, he's still got over 20 points. <laughs> right, yeah. 
He's a hard guy to contain for sure. But for the most part, they've they've been able to contain him in, and I say contain sort of pejoratively almost, like he's still gotten his points, but he hasn't, been, around that. he hasn't run away with it, you know? Right. So five point game, a minute and five in this fourth quarter. Jordana will take it up and probably fouled immediately. And it's, oh, is it travel? They call it travel? No. It just like a, a, a second. A fan contingent here wanted to travel. They didn't get it. I'm getting persuaded by fans here. <laughs> That's a bad thing to be. That was the last foul to give for Paquanic, so the next one should send him to the line. Indeed, the last foul to give. Krapinski looking for some opening here. George can't quite corral it. Rebound Paquanic. That's the turnover you got to avoid. Santana. Timeout. Timeout taken now by Paquanic. So another timeout used. 51 seconds remaining. Not much time drained off the clock from the last timeout. So this, is it the same kind of principle you're talking about in the huddle? Yeah, right I mean, you you just had the thing that you couldn't do, which was turn the ball over if you're the Hornets. But at this point, just just flush it. And I think they're still in a really good position, up two scores. Um, and, and now we're in sort of foul mode. As you see, both teams have committed four fouls, so the next one sends them to the line. And so, and that's, you know, we, there are a couple of really good foul shooters on this Hornets team, so they should be pretty confident that they can knock those down when it gets to that sort of late game mode of just, Piquanic is hoping to just foul and, and get lucky and hold on. Tune in to Garden State Sports social media after the game is over for our Climate Care LLC player of the game. But right now, we don't know who's getting it. <laughs> oh, we don't. We still got a game to play here. We've got some good candidates for sure. Absolutely. A lot of offensive juggernauts here today. Alex Reyes, always a good option for Hanover Park. And Carson Coluco, as always, doing a good job. But the ball is in his hands. Luke White with the inbound pass. We get back out to Kaluko, aforementioned, hits! Two point game. And remember, they got that shot off the turnover. Reyes, inbounds. Is it fouled immediately? 39 seconds remaining. Here we go. Reyes. George. Orjaque, fouled by Santana. 29.5 remaining, a two point game for Hanover Park. No surprise, they put the free throw sharpshooter in the game late here. And that's the guy you want at the line. We did jinx him earlier, but crunch we time. About that. We don't talk about that. <laughs> so Orjaquay will take two. What's he got? And I'm not going to mention his stats. I just can't catch a break. <laughs> not as night from the line, but could still redeem himself, get it to a three point game with this one. For sure. Second shot is good. Three point game, 63 60. Picardo trying to direct traffic. Inbounds. And Reyes knocks it out of bounds. So now Donovan Castle will be the inbound passer. Both teams in the double bonus now with 14 fouls for Hanover Park and five for Paquanic, respectively. And that's where the turnover looms large because Kaluko's three made it a one possession game. Kaluko's looking for it. Step back three. Off the mark, rebound, Alex Reyes. Fouled. Yeah, got a foul immediately. That was the look that Kaluko wanted. Just couldn't quite can it. So now 15 seconds remaining. And the hotter than the sun, Alex Reyes goes to the line. He'll need to maybe turn down the temperature just a little bit at the line to sink these, right? For sure. 64 points on the year, 50% for the line this season. This is the first. And the window opens a little more for Paquanic. Ray a second shot. Goes, two possession game. It's a big one. Picardo takes it up. Driving now, puts it up, and gets it to go. And now a timeout taken by. 
And if a Parks is trying to corral things here with 6.9 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, we're, we're just running out of clock at this point. I mean, I feel like both of these teams could keep playing until midnight with the energy in here of just pure adrenaline, but it's got to end at some point, and <laughs> we're coming to the end of a real thriller. I can't anymore. My voice is gone. Yeah. <laughs> you still sound good to me, man. Well, no one cares about me. They care about <laughs> Hanover Park and Paquanic. And we have been treated to an absolutely stellar game on both sides of the ball. And this is exactly what we thought going into this one. And it's really come down to the wire here in this fourth quarter. Yeah, and again, the implications of this game, as we mentioned at the top, neither team has won in their division just yet. So whoever does come away with this game is taking home their first division dub at the same time. So you can see this game means a little more, right? Absolutely. And we're seeing these two teams go hand in hand tonight consistently with the three-point ball now with Alex Reyes being as hot as he's been yeah. and Carson Caluco being as dominant as he's been as well on the other side for the, Horn uh, for the Golden Panthers. And the defensive effort for the Hornets was so important. We talked about it. They have had defensive proclivities in the past. It's really been impressive tonight. So Karpinski will be the inbounder. As Hanover Park just trying to hold on to this slim two-point lead. Karpinski to Reyes. Fouled immediately. One second goes off the clock, 5.6 seconds remaining. And Kaluko's gonna get there and a foul quickly. He's got that burst. He can he could have potentially stolen the ball away. So it's Alex Reyes at the line again. One of two in his last time at the free throw line. As we said, 50% free throw shooter on the year head again. This is the first. And that's so no, huge. No matter what, it's a one possession game now. Puquanic, they can get it to their guy. Try to force a miracle. Reyes. Hits the second. And now they'll talk things over with 5.6 seconds remaining in a three point game. Yeah, a couple missed free throws there for Hanover Park. Orjikwe and Reyes going one for two with the stripe. It's, you know, it's enough to make sure that, you know, they still have Pequanic. The ball is still in their hands. The still onus is still on them to get that shot. And you know who they're go going to give it to. So oh, uh, yeah. on one hand, I mean, that, that kind of simplifies things for the Hornets. They know who they need to focus their attention to, but they also need to be careful not to foul him because if you send him to the line beyond the arc with the potential to sink three free throws to force overtime, he's the kind of player where he can easily make you pay for that kind of infraction. This game's been back and forth the whole night. Paquana getting off to a 10-0 start back in the first quarter. That seems ages away from where we yeah. are right now. And Hanover Park looks like a different team from when they first stepped on the court. I mean, you can't say enough about the effort that they've put in tonight. And really from both sides, no matter what. And of course, Pequanic dealing with some adversity. Tomaskovic still nursing that injury a little bit. They've had their work cut out for him, especially defensively in his absence, but they've still put in a ton of work to make this a one possession game. And here it is. The last script, the last page of the script is in their hands. Here we go, Johnny Karpinski at the line. 66.7% from the line this season. Or rather, you know he's not at the line. <laughs> what am I talking about? Right, yeah, we're inbounding. Inbounding. It's the corner ball. ball. Kaluko. Three seconds, two seconds, puts it up. He's got it! The game is tied! Oh, you cannot write a better script! Carson Kaluko! And we're going to overtime! Two guys on him. He does not care. He does not care what Hanover Park throws at him. He's going to sink that basket when it gets to clutch time. Carson Kaluko. Oh my god. I <laughs> cannot believe it. And of course, Hanover Park, what they're talking about here as we get ready for overtime is those foul shots. 
That's just, you can't let those points get away from you because this game could have been a settled matter. And Kaluka really made him pay for missing a free throw here and there. But also you just, at this point, we don't want to assign blame to anybody. We just want more basketball and we're getting more basketball. So who can complain? What a fantastic highlight. The crowd is fired up. As they should be. And the players. Hanover Park's ready. I mean, look at them already out here. So now, Paquanic still talking things over after that buzzer beater. But Hanover Park's ready to play. So four minutes now at the start of overtime. Team's tied up at 65. It's been back and forth game between two rivals. You know, from a couple towns over. What have you got left in the tank? Me? Alex Reyes, what can you Nothing. offer? Alex Reyes, everything. Car Carson Caluco, got any more miracle threes left in you? So here we go with the tip. Our open road Mazda of Morristown tip off to start overtime. Wow, you can cut the tension in this building with a knife. Year. So, with overtime being a huge factor for both these teams, Jeremy, when well, you're looking at the division right now, this game means so much to these teams. Yeah. What does it imply on the line right now? I just, it's just, it's a fantastic, I mean, we, we saw these guys are throwing everything that they have and it's just, it's, it's inspiring basketball because Paquanic, they lost one of their big guys. We saw in the first half, it was a different game because of, because of the effort on the boards that Thomas Govic was putting in. And they don't have that, but they still have the game within their grasp. So we'll take a quick commercial break while this is going on. <clears throat> Overtime, set to kick off, right when we come back on Garden State Sports. Innovative, I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of Wiss Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence. We've had a back and forth matchup all night long and we're all tied at 65, heading into overtime. So as we, as we mentioned before, going to break four minutes here in this overtime period. I'm not sure what the delay here is. It's something Revenue at the, the table, scorer's table, over, yeah. yeah. Well, in the meantime, though, while this is going on, we'd like to sponsor our sponsors that make these broadcasts possible here on Garden State Sports by Zephman Orthodontics, by Paul Miller Auto Group, Lincoln Tech, Online Computers, and Smythe Volvo. And here we go, our open road Mazda Morristown tip-off to begin things here in overtime. McQuanick wins the tip. Kaluko, who sent us here in overtime to begin with. Lost the handle. Off of Orchiquet. It'll be Paquanic ball still. And we haven't seen the Kaluko on Orchiquet matchup too prominently in this game, but when we have, Orchiquet has really stifled him. Santana. Driving. Inside. Kicks it back out to White. To Picardo. Looking around. Santana for three. Off the mark. Rebound, battle for, recovered by White. Picardo now has it at the top of the key to White. Swings it inside, pass is deflected. Reyes in trouble though, has to get rid of it. To George, back to Karpinski, gets out of a dangerous situation. Back to Karpinski, Orchikwe, wide open, off the mark. Gets it back though, offensive rebound. Back to Alex Reyes, slowing things down. Reyes drives, kick out, three. Off the mark. Rebound by Kuluko. Yeah, I think after such an exhilarating four quarters, you might see these teams want to slow things down a little bit in the overtime period. 
Coluco in trouble, kicks it back to White, drives, inside, loses the handle, Ricardo, George has it. Garbinski back the other way, fast break, Garbinski drives, puts it in. Johnny Garbinski, two point lead for the Hornets. It's not moving too fast for the Hornets. <laughs> Maybe a little fast for Pequonic, faster than they like a little bit. You see Coluco slowing things down here at the top. Hanover Park buzzing by Pequonic here to start overtime. High pass from Picardo, corrals it. Drives now, inside, pass to White. Reverse, no good, fouls! Anthony Reyes charged for the foul. And White will go to the line to shoot two. <laughs> These teams want it, man. These fans want it too. And White has been putting in a stellar effort getting those starter minutes that normally go to Thomas Govic. And he'll have some critical shots to knock down here. First one in and out. Up and no good. Rebound, Hornets. Alex Reyes the other way, fast break to his brother Anthony. Who puts it in? 69, 65, Hornets. Picardo. Back to Kuluko. Kuluko looking for space, drives, puts it up, fouled. As both Karpinski and Kuluko hit the floor hard as Kuluko will go to the line to shoot two. That was good D from Karpinski. You'll take the foul up by two scores at the moment. But Quantic just looking for some points to get things started. They have gone without in all of their overtime possessions to this point. They had back-to-back -back turnovers, which is never how you want to start an overtime. Coluco, it's the first. He's got 34. Ice cold. I think you saw maybe the, the moment get to the other foul shooters, not this guy. Coluco, hits the second. Make that 35. As Kuluko having another one is Carson Classics. <laughs> Anthony Reyes from the top. Just under two minutes remaining here in overtime. Reyes drives underneath. Underneath. No good. Rebound Picardo. He's back out to Kuluko. Two point game. Hornets. Kuluko for three. Off the mark. Tipped up. Rebound Anthony Reyes. Battle for underneath. And he gets fouled. Yeah, Paquanic wanted to travel there, but he did, he bounced past it before he fell over there. It would have been a travel if he had fallen with the ball in his hands, but he was able to get it over, find safe haven. And now he goes to the line. Anthony Reyes will shoot two. <laughs> Anthony, this is the first. We've talked about Alex all game long, but Anthony has had a pretty good game in his own right and had an important bucket in this overtime period. A second shot from the line. He knocks it down. Three point game. Picardo will take things up. Picardo back to Santana. We'll go back out to Picardo. Drives the lane, rejected by Reyes. Alex is fouled by Picardo. It only got set to the line. Alex Reyes bringing the intensity, bringing the rejection. Not that tall of a guy, but he stepped up when he needed to. Picardo has gotten a lot of minutes here and. It shows, it shows the trust, but couldn't find anything there. He met only Alex Reyes. As everything goes dead quiet, Reyes' first shot. He hits. <laughs> My score sheet is becoming incomprehensible <laughs> at this point. I have so many numbers and so many different things going on. We'll bring more space next time. <laughs> I need a whole journal. Right. Reyes, he misses the second, rebound underneath. Castle, George White takes it back it. up, Kaluko. 
for three, step back. Off the mark. Rebound, Alex Reyes. Crosses himself up though, he's in danger. And now recovered by White. Underneath, back to Picardo. Kick it back out, go, go, go. Too high, rebound, White again, offensive rebound. Kick it back out, Picardo now. No good. Rebound, Orjaque, back to Reyes. 46 seconds remaining in overtime, he gets fouled. Wow, what a sequence there. You feel for Luke White on those plays because he put in such an effort to grab those rebounds and set up his teammates. The finish just wasn't there. Everything but the finish on that play for Bukwanek. And some crucial free throws. So here comes Alex Reyes. Two or four from the line here tonight. This is the first. Can't miss too many of those. We saw that in the fourth quarter. If there's anything that's a weak link in Alex Reyes' game, it's from the line. And unfortunately, we've seen a couple of those here tonight. Yeah, they're trying to foul him. He gets the second though. 72, 67. Picardo, looking around, inside. He gets it to Kluko, knocks it through. Still not dead yet. 72-69, timeout taken by the Hornets. That was a fantastic little feed by Picardo. Great vision. Or rather, that was a foul there. Perfect execution on the feed to Kaluko, but yeah. Time running out, but still in a, paradoxically, kind of a lot of time, right? 30 seconds? A lot can happen here. Still a three-point game if Reyes subsequently misses these two. He misses the first. The Reyes bros have been pretty dominant here tonight. Can they capitalize this game? He hits. Castle, Picardo taking things up. 25 seconds remaining. Paquanic driving, Picardo, no good. Rebound, battle for jump ball. And it'll be Hanover Park ball. It was a good drive by Picardo, but they had the rim protection that was necessary. Picardo has to foul. For Karpinski. Alex Reyes back to Karpinski. Not fouling yet, though. Karpinski loses the handle on it. Uh oh, Castle's got it. Intercepted by Ortiqua. Drives. Kicks it back out. Seven seconds left. Fouled. And just like that, Karpinski can put this game on ice. If he hits both. We have not had a lot of turnovers in this game. We just had two back to back. The intensity of this overtime period finally starting to maybe break the composure of a few of these players. Almost a golden opportunity for Pequanic, but instead becomes an opportunity for Karpinski. To yeah, shut off the right. lights. Karpinski to cap things off. Hits. 75, 69. The metronome, all reliable. Two of two. Kaluko, last breath, puts it up. No good. And that is it. The Hornets in unbelievable fashion. Down 10 0 to start. Climb all the way back and take it 75 69. Wow. <laughs> Jeremy, your fucking. was everything we could have wanted from these two teams and more. We had a buzzer beater three. We had, you know, sort of slow and fast action. We had the anticipation of those foul shots in the end. And then we just had some, some great basketball all the way around. Nothing to be ashamed of on Pequanic's side. They just. They lost to Moskovic. That was a big loss for them. They didn't quite have the guys to make up for that interior presence. The Hornets, they played with that ship. Alex Reyes was terrific. And that's going to do it here from Hanover Park. A 75-69 win for the Hornets. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in here tonight. For our associate producer, Caitlin Langan. For our executive producer, George Muha. Our camera operator, Savannah Williams. Our producer, Christina Funcasta. My color analyst, Jeremy Nielsen. I'm Christian Copen signing off from The Hive. Once again, final score 75-69.
Karpinski back to Reyes. Reyes will take his chance. In and out. Rebound to Moskovic. Kaluko takes it up. Kaluko now driving inside, kicking it back out for three. Castle, got it. Gordano almost has it stripped. Garbinski picks it up, shoots off the mark. Kaluko with the rebound. Already in the middle of everything, you see his aggressiveness defensively. Nice pass down the court to Tomaskovic who knocks it away. Yeah, Orjaque is a really important piece for this Hanover Park team, both on offense and on defense. You saw him helping out on those defensive possessions to start. A 5-0 run to start this game for the Golden Panthers. Tomaskovic inside. Nice pass to Kaluko who knocks it through. Good. Rebound Orjaque underneath. Tries to kick it back out. But doesn't get it to go. Picardo now. Santana, open look for three. Got it! Santana, open look for three. Got it! Aaron Santana banks down a three and a 10 0 start for Paquanic. Orchaque driving now towards the lane, puts it up and puts it in. Alex drives, kicks it back out to his brother, Anthony. And now we'll try to reset things from the top of the key. Karpinski. Now driving, looking for some help. Kick it out to Alex, who takes his chance for three and gets it. Reyes hits the first three ball for Hanover Park tonight. It's a good shot. But Quanic defensively with their zone has been keeping Highland Park to the perimeter. And Picardo. that time they're finally able to take advantage. They have not really had the driving lanes to go for two. Underneath. And getting it to get off the mark. Rebound battle for Carlaimed by Castle. Jack Picardo, he had a nice first half. He'll take it up. Give it to Tomaskovic. Back to Castle to Santana for three. Got it! Karbinski. Pass inside to Farrell. Look around. Give it back to Anthony. Orchakway for three. Long one gets it. Sense from looking at the shot, that one was going to go in. Great form, good poise, just confident shot from Orchakwe, who's an important player for Hanover Park down the stretch in the second half. Kaluko almost lost Anil for a second. Double teamed underneath, floats it up for Tomaskovic. Who puts it in? I just feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> but Farrell rebound rejected by Castle. Jordano now. If you take three, you're fine with missing both free throws, right? Reyes, driving now underneath, floats it up, and gets it to fall. That driving inside, Jordano, high off the glass, no good. Rebound Santana underneath. And these are big minutes right here for Luke White. Nice pass to Kaluko underneath, gets fouled. Oh my goodness! Look back at Santana. He loves his looks from three, off the mark. Rebound, Karpinski. Good box out. Down the field to Reyes, and Anthony doesn't get to go. Alex, though, the other. But covered by Luke White, though. Picardo now. It's back out. Underneath. Stolen by Reyes. Alex the other way. Almost gets fouled. Gets it to the lane. Gets it to go. For help, finds White. Back to Kaluko. Looking around. Kaluko, step back three. No good. Rebound, Reyes. Takes it back up to Karpinski, just a little bit too far. Tries to save it, somehow does. Reyes oh. gets it. Pump fakes for three. Got it! Wow. This gets fouled. It is a two-point game now. 40 seconds remaining here in this third quarter. Man, this has been exciting so far. Donnelly with the inbound. It's two zeros on each other. Karpinski slips. Cool go for three. Got it! A five-point game in favor of Paquanic. And whenever the Hornets have punched, the Panthers have had the answer. Slowing it down here now, though, our Hanover. Ten seconds left in here in this third quarter. Jordano to Reyes for three. He's been up sudden. Karpinski drives. Looking around, back to Jordano from the top. Jordano looks, drives, inside. No good, rebound by Farrell off the fingertips. Reyes now has it. Take it back to Karpinski for three. Got it! <laughs> Had a couple of really great plays already in this game. We're, we're getting greedy, we want a little more. Absolutely. Jordano. 
Back to Karpinski, drives now. Fade away, jumper, got it! Ricardo, back to Santana, to Kaluko. Looking around, driving. Gets blocked by Karpinski. Kaluko gets it back though. Off the mark. Offensive rebound once again underneath. Kaluko gets it. <laughs> by Karpinski. Kaluko gets it back though. Off the mark. Offensive rebound once again underneath. Kaluko gets it. <laughs> what a finish. Deny me once, deny me twice. You ain't gonna get me three times. Reyes, Anthony, got it! Today, Tomaskovic is on the bench.